So I ran out of some things in my kitchen. So I am gonna go to the store and uh, kind of show you the different things that I do when I shop. Grab my keys. Let's rock and roll. Here we are at my townhome complex. Over to my a dirty car that's in desperate need of a wash. I'll wash it in like a couple months probably. All right, here we are at the first place. First thing I notice is all the carts that uh, weren't put away properly, which those of you who know me know that that's a big pet peeve of mine. <laughs> so here we are at the Superstition Ranch Market, uh, one of my favorite places to come and shop for um, produce. It's uh, really cheap, and uh, the produce doesn't last um, super long. Like I, I normally just freeze the berries and stuff right away, but we'll go inside and take a look. So yeah, I'm just going to film a couple of my uh, favorite deals. Um, give you an idea of what kind of uh, cool deals that you can get at this place. Um, this store is on um, Main Street in between Higley and uh, Wrecker, and they have really good deals, so come check it out sometime if you live here in Arizona. Dragon Fruit, two for $5. It's actually really cheap. Normally over at uh, my supermarket that I go to, it's like, five dollars six dollars a piece kiwi three for a dollar forty nine cents a pound for grapes mangoes ninety nine cents a piece pineapples a dollar ninety nine cantaloupe ninety nine cents a piece Look at this five pound bag of russet potatoes for $1.09. That is a really good deal for potatoes. This is one of my uh, favorite deals that they have. Is their bell peppers are always on sale. Three for 99 cents, that is amazing. And the red and the yellow are a little more expensive. Normally they're like three for a dollar also, um, but still a lot cheaper than at my normal supermarket. Corn, three for 99 cents. I'll do a slow scan so you can see some of this. Radishes, two for a dollar. And my main uh, reason for coming here today is um, I need to stock up on berries for my smoothies. And uh, blueberries are two for a dollar. And normally when I pick these out though, you wanna check them, because sometimes they're a bit gross. Um, so you just you just check. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing nasty with them. I'm gonna bring them home and freeze them right away. So, but a lot of them have mold on them already. And then I'm gonna get some strawberries too. Two for three bucks. It's a pretty good deal. I've seen them as low as like two for a dollar even. Again, you gotta check the fruit. Make sure they're not moldy. They don't last as long as they will in. The ones that you buy at your like normal grocery store, but that's okay. If you're gonna freeze them right away, it's not a big deal. So you can save a lot of money. And then the blackberries, two for one fifty. That's a pretty good deal as well. I've seen them a lot cheaper here, but they tend to not be as moldy as some of the other uh, berries that you get. But you still want to check them just to make sure. 
But if you're gonna do like a blackberry pie or something like this, it's a good place to get a ton of berries for really, really cheap. And the total cost was seven fifty, um, which was a really good deal. This, if I was to buy the same exact stuff over at my supermarket, it would probably have been twice as much. Pretty awesome. Now on to the next store. First, I got to put my cart away. Boom, that's how it's done. <laughs> All right, I have arrived at my next destination, a Fry's supermarket. Those of you who live in Arizona will uh, be very familiar with Fry's. And uh, I'm excited to go on there and do some shopping. It's hotter than Hades outside, so I gotta get inside to some air conditioning. <laughs> cool thing about fries if you didn't know is they have digital coupons you can go onto fries.com and just load these digital coupons on your loyalty card and if I bought everything on this list I would save uh, ten dollars and eighty cents uh, pretty awesome oh and without fail there are carts in the parking areas that people did not put away uh, all right, I'm going to get agitated thinking about carts. <laughs> so here we are at Fry's. Exactly. Grab my favorite kind of cart. These little mini carts are awesome. Since I usually am shopping for myself, it works perfect for me. If you have a big family, you would need three of these probably. <laughs> And there is a bird inside the supermarket. There he is perched up there. Pretty awesome. Maybe looking for some free food. And here the bird is again. He's looking for a free meal. All right. I got what I wanted. I know they come to the supermarket uh, at least two times a week. Usually I have to buy ingredients for episodes and whatnot. So I don't always buy a ton when I come each time because I know I'm going to be back in a few more days. Well, there we go. Time to check out. And we are done. Another successful shopping trip. One of a billion. <laughs> anyway. And it's really hot, so can't wait to get home. And I'll make sure to put my cart away, as a good shopper does. I have no idea if this is interesting. <laughs> Some people will probably find this stuff interesting. Um, but anyway, that would be fun to show you what my shopping day looks like when I'm buying stuff for my show, buying stuff for myself. Look how easy it is to put away the cart. Look, wow, boom, look at that. So easy just to put it right back. Of course, I parked right next to the spot, but still, yeah, really easy. Do it. And here is my complete haul from both grocery stores. Total cost was right around $32 for everything. Would have been a lot more expensive if I had to buy all those berries at the supermarket as opposed to the little um, ranch market. Pretty cool.